Hey Jackals, in my last video I showed you how to make an installable template bundle for DaVinci Resolve. But then, a question popped into my head. Can you get the actual template out of the DaVinci Resolve template bundle? And the answer is, yes you can. Now let's get digital. I'll show you how to do this, but I don't expect everyone will just want to mess with the templates, but only those that want to change them and learn how someone else made the effect. Now under the effects, as you can see, I have my own template that I've also put under the titles. This is the template bundle in question, and now I'll show you how to actually get the template out of this template bundle. So if you double click on it, the Winch Resolve will prompt you to install it. I don't want that, so what I'll do, I'll simply make a copy of it. So now what I'll do is I'll change the extension from DRFX to zip. And if you didn't watch the previous video, I suggest you do. Now I can open this. Now if I had more templates inside this template bundle, I would see all of them, but I only have one inside with an image. So I'll simply put this in and now I have my template and I can go into the Fusion page and simply drop it in. So this will be the Fusion composition that I have. Go into the Fusion page. Now I'll simply put this file into the Fusion page to see how the effect was made. And in this case, I have Macro Tool 1 and it has a bunch of nodes indicated by the stack nodes. I can double click on them and see how the effect is made. And if I display it, nothing will happen because I was using images and these images are interfaced with the media in nodes and I couldn't use the loader node to get the effect that I wanted. I can now right click and ungroup and I could change the images to the appropriate images and I also need the video like that and then I would have to reposition the images. But what can also happen if you have a template, maybe like this one, you put it in but you only see the macro tool, you want to double click on it but you can't open it. Now if you hover over it, you will see all of the nodes that make the effect but you don't actually see them. So what can you do? Well, there is a quick workaround if you know what to do. You can open this file in a notepad, I'll use notepad++ and you'll get a bunch of code which probably won't mean much to you as it doesn't to me. But what you can do is change the first line where you see macro operator, replace the macro with group, save it and now when I put this template in I can actually open it and see how the effect is made and how it was animated if there are any animations. So we do have some animations as you can see. So if need be, you can then simply maybe change the color like this and then you can also copy this into the notepad. I'll just show you quickly. I'll go all the way till the end, but you want to do this in a new file. And then when you paste this, it will basically paste all of these nodes as text. And if I go to the top, which is here, you can see that this is group. And if I would change this back to macro, I would have this color. But then when I would put the effect back in, I would only see one node. Now in my templates, I'm just using the basic nodes, but some of the nodes that you see could have additional properties. Maybe the background would have something else listed on here and maybe it would just look totally different. Now you could go to the background, edit controls and just add a control. Maybe something like this, give it OK and I have a new control down here. But what can also happen is that someone uses an expression outside of the nodes that actually make the composition and they just use the value that they obtain from another node. And in that case, you can't do anything because you don't know how the expression actually looks like. And that's my take on how to hack the Winch Resolve templates. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon and until next time Jackals, keep it digital. Thank <laughs> you.